I'm leaving my favorite bar and yes, it has transformed into a strip bar, which is okay because it's actually the hottest strip bar on the strip. When I say the strip, we're talking P. Burgo Street. It is the heart of Poblacion Makati. And Poblacion Makati is more than just a red light district. Poblacion Makati is uh, an incredible fusion of hole in the wall restaurants and little boutique restaurants and cafes and little like chill bars and super party bars and like hot nightclubs like this is Pobla baby like restaurants you know what let's just dive in bottoms one of the original strip bars here on p burgos that got killed during lockdown is back so we decided to check it out what really sets these strip bars apart because there's a ton of them on p burgos street is ambiance music the hotness and or friendliness of the girls and believe it or not food bottoms had a fantastic menu they served up a killer feast i mentioned there's chill bars and there's party bars and sometimes they're both during the week, this place is a real chill spot. But during the weekend, it starts to go out of control. Filipinos don't need a dance floor to get things rolling. This place is gonna be madhouse packed on the weekends. And sometimes a standing room only. I'm not saying you can't get a seat with your sweetheart or find a place to roam around and mingle because the people here are really friendly. It's super easy to meet girls. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Yeah, Buccaneers is a pirate themed bar. And they're also the premier rum bar here in the Makati area. And when they start ringing that ship's bell at the bar, that means it's going to be an open pour out of the rum bottle. That's why some people like to get here early and grab a seat at the bar. We usually end up joining a table. And if we have a big crew, we'll just reserve a table. However, that's going to come with a consumable fee on the weekend. These tables are actually all sharing tables, so it's possible to grab a seat at one, even though this place is madhouse packed. And there's usually seating available outside. In this spot, no seat, no problem. It just means you're gonna roam around, drink, high five, meet people, and dance. They've got Crazy Carabao out the wazoo on tap here. The cider and the IPA, which is my fave. Some nights, you just want that neighborhood corner bar kind of vibe. And this place, H&J, is that spot. And now, they've got the local craft beer on tap. And that is hard to beat. Our girls usually like to come here to play pool, and some nights your bros won't even come out because they know you're going to go way too hard unless you're in a chill spot like this. This is one of the oldest, most established expat bars here in Poblacion Makati. You're going to get a mix of all kinds of people in here. Depending on the night, this place could be next to dead and or totally jumping off. I think on the weekends, they bring in a DJ now. This place has a huge menu with lots of different food selections on it. They actually do a fantastic job with Indian food. Part of the cultural element of drinking in the Philippines is palutan, and that's kind of like pika pika, which is essentially the art of eating slowly whilst drinking the night away. I mentioned little boutique eateries and hole in the wall spots. This place, another corner pub kind of vibe, is amazing. You can get an authentic New York Slice here, and craft beer. They keep a couple of beers on tap, delicious. Can't go wrong if you want a quick bite and a great beer here. And right across the street, the epitome of a hole in the wall. Only Pants, best beef burrito tacos, and we're talking real cheese, which is really tough to get in Manila. The pinnacle of nightlife action in Poblacion is gonna be the nightclubs, and you can go VIP all the way or go with a standing table like this. The reason I like going with a standing table is because you don't always need to have a consumable and you're right in the mix and look at what you're mixing with. There are tables open and you're going to throw down a bucket on the table. You don't pay the consumable fee for that table. Although if they're packed and fully reserved, you're going to drop about 6,000 pesos even for just a standing table in a spot like this. But next level is VIP. 
Look at all the booze on the table. That's part of your table consumable fee. Yeah, and the girls, and the bros, and the DJs. This is a super friendly place to party. Some guys are going to throw buckets on the table, even if it's VIP. They got a bottle of Jameson's, bottles of champagne, shisha. Yeah, you can smoke that stuff in here. Vaping is also okay, but no cigars and cigarettes in this nightclub. But we come for the girls, because the girls like to dance, and the girls like to party, and they'll get their own VIP table. Got an upscale little Bar Bites menu in here, in case you feel like you need something to eat. It's not uncommon to have two or three friends in here that each have tables of their own. They're gonna be ordering their own booze. In this case, you can tell you're sitting at a ladies table because they got that uh, tequila rose nonsense that they're knocking back. But when you see the shot glasses on the table, you better watch out. That is a hazard sign for an insane night cycling up. I could do dogs all night long, but I'm I'm calling it quits. Oh, look at him! <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah, I want to snuggle puppies all night long, all day long, all night long. But we're done. Let's go home. Right behind me, on the corner of P. Burgos and McCarty Avenue, Al Tarbouche, probably the best kebab you're gonna get here in Poblasco, but they're gonna have the cheapest shawarma on the strip. But if you want the best shawarma on the strip, you gotta go to Pasha. Super hot summer sun, but don't believe the hype. Yes, the sun is a laser beam, but you can see the breeze blowing with the streamers they're setting up for some festival here. There's always a cool breeze out here. 90, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 40% humidity, wonderful. They'll tell you it's no 51 degrees Celsius heat index warning, warning, you know, and I'm just like, uh, bullshit, you know, because that's what 123 degrees Fahrenheit now. See the difference between the organic eggs and the regular egg. And then she makes these fantastic omelets. Very simple and healthy dinner. I make this keto friendly avocado toast using bread that is made from almond flour, uh, a bit of feta cheese as a spread. Uh, I'm going to cook down the garlic, the tomatoes and the pepper into a, like a ragu. So it's like a bruschetta topping and then slices of avocado for the avocado toast finish. So it is a feta bruschetta avocado toast recipe. When it comes to protein shakes, it's always almond milk, low carb, and I add in fats. These are healthy fats, medium chain triglyceride fats, because you always want to be able to have a ratio of fat to protein. A lot of street food options here in the Barangay and in the Palenques. I mean, you're going to have to go through what it takes to develop an iron stomach. But once you do that, you can get lunch for like 20 pesos a pot. That's like, what, 40 cents? This is harder than it looks. A little bit of a horse stance. Got the spine turns. Spine turns. This has a high intensity interval element to it, so make sure you're breathing. The key to a pain free body is a strong and flexible spine. Take it slow at first, but eventually go for your max speed. Great warm up for the shoulders, especially if you're going to do dips, push ups, and stuff like that. And, and also just to kind of get loosened up and moving. Once you get into like matrix level speed, yeah. Everything in Poblacion is walking distance. It's like bar hop heaven. I mentioned late night and there's a couple of elements to that. First of all, you might be wondering how much late night is there? Well, quite honestly, there's not a lot. There's like one place and you're looking at it. This is Secret Door. Now, I'm not saying you can't party in the club till 4 or 5 in the morning when the sun comes up. But after that, you want to party 7, 8, 9, 10 a.m., you're going to have to hit the after-hour spot. 
there's not an option for you to go to two or three places if you want to party way past the sun comes up. At least not in Poblacion. You want to haul all the way out to Quezon City and then, of course, all the way back? Well, yeah, you're going to have a couple of more options, but you're not going to have that bar hop vibe and you're not going to have that same community vibe. The other element to after hours is late night eats. Yeah, after a night of partying, we want to go get something to eat. And again, you have limited options here in Poblacion at like 7, 8, 9, 10 in the morning. Just about everything is closed except for two spots. You got Canto Freestyle. And Canto means corner in Tagalog. It's like your corner spot. A Filipino diner vibe. The food is super cheap, very local cuisine. You're going to enjoy this spot and you're not going to break the bank. But if you want to step it up just a little bit, you can hit the filling station. A really unique, cool experience. They're open 24 seven. They got a huge menu. They got tons of tables. This is the kind of spot where you're going to really enjoy yourself with a couple of friends or just kind of chill and get some good food. It's about lifestyle. Guys ask me all the time, well, why is it that you're always in Pobla or why are you hitting the same spots? And I'm like, you know what? There's just not that many spots to hit. Now, granted, you do have BGC and BGC is not a late night town. It's more of an a la carte dining, chill kind of spot. And I got plenty of that coming up on the channel. Definitely check it out. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Stay tuned for more coming up from the Philippines.